Let's go to Cornwall together. I'm so excited for a wholesome week. I just, we're just putting petrol in and I've got the dog some new harnesses. I've been undoing them. Where are they? They're here. I'm about to put them on and strap them in. And we're going to go for the week. And I thought I'd take you with us. We're going to have a nice wholesome week full of beach walks, nice food. And I'm literally so, so excited. And I'm on my new camera and I'm just really excited. I've got a good feeling. So yeah we're on our way we've got about a five hour journey but it is currently 20 to 8 so we've come out really really early i've got no room in the car at all my legs are squished up this feet at 500 um but i'm really really excited nonetheless so let's go hello so we had a mcdonald's <laughs> This like ham and gherkin little sandwich. Then I got some cucumber and hummus. And then I got some salt and vinegar crispies. So that's my little snack box. Um, about two hours, 10 minutes to go. It's half 11, so we should get there just after half one. Uh, we can't check in till free, but we're going to go to the beach, take the dogs for a nice walk. It's so sunny and it's quite warm, which is honestly gorgeous. Hello, baby. Um, so, yeah, gave the dogs some food. Do you want any more water, Rory or Rolo? You are, darling. Some water. Do you, Rolo? No? No more water? Um, so, yes, I'm going to get back on uh journey let's do a room tour you ready <coughs> let me show you so you come in and there's like a little living area and there's this private sc privacy screen you can move if you want to i don't know what's in here oh it's locked we're not to know but there's a little tv sofa and then i'll pan you around to the kitchen it's quite big to be fair 
And then there's a little table and chairs. And um, what's that, babe? Um, uh, Is it the heating? Yeah, it's a uh, heater. Smart, isn't it? And then this is the bedroom, and it's really quite big. Uh, we're really surprised. I was because like online doesn't look as big. There's a cute little mirror here, and then you go into the bathroom, and this is it. It's really really nice. It's got a really big shower, and it goes down, and then it's got some storage, and then a mirror. So we're all checked in. Um, it's really really nice we're just feeding the dogs we're gonna get ourselves settled and then probably go down to the beach in a bit but yeah so happy we're here it took so long and it's just nice to be finally out of the car hello guys if we look a bit rough we've just had a nap we were so tired and we were like should we do this and we were like yeah and then we just wouldn't move and i was like should we have a nap and dan was like no nah. And then look, we both fled down and then he was gone and then I went. But the dogs were just being quite annoying and shock. Dogs never let us, us nap. I don't know what your dogs are like, but they're always like fiddling. And it's wooden floor. And like, upstairs in our bedroom, we don't have wooden floor. We have um, carpet. So, yeah. So annoying. But I just wanted to check in. We're going to get some fish and chips and let the dogs run on the beach. With St Ives Beach, it does... Um, it, it's like um, the tide goes out in the evening, so we'll see what the beach actually looks like. We're not 100% sure um, what the beach state is going to be, but regardless, we're going to get some nice fish and chips. And I'm starving, Marvin, Moo. Sorry, that was so annoying on the radio, I didn't realise. Um, but yeah, we're just going to park, park and ride. Okay, we're in St Ives, we're gonna go and find somewhere to get fish and chips. We managed to park the car and now we're just coming into the main town. And it's so pretty. fish and chips to be honest they weren't that good like they weren't very generous with the salt and vinegar they were a bit like playing the chips they could have done with a bit more huh tennis balls okay would well, you not just want to do it in the car for the dogs to stay in the car when you get some water i'm not sure we can go for a walk now yeah well we can still do that can't we i want to go to the car the way. yeah and then we could drive to car this bad yeah, okay, we normally go that way, but we can go that way. Oh, do you want to... Do... No, it's fine. Okay, as long as you're sure. Yeah, we'll go that way. Um, but yeah, luckily there's some like co-ops and stuff near us. So we can pop there and the... Um, what's it called? The car isn't far up the road. It's actually turning into a nice pretty evening. It was raining when we first come out, but... And if I'm breathing in your ear, I'm going up a hill, so TTYL. <laughs> We're at Carby's Bay. This is my favourite place. Losers! Last time we came, we saw um, a few seals, which was so cute.
Guys, I'm trying to capture the seal. I've zoomed in. He's not coming up now, I've got me zoom sorted. Yeah, hi Sloffy. Hi little seal, hi. What a gorgeous noise. Happy first day in Cornwall and happy birthday to Daniel Hawkins. Yay! Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, my friend. So happy birthday, Dan. <laughs> it's the 19th, I was going to say, of July. That's my birthday. We're letting everyone go, are we? 19th of March. And we are going to St Ives to get some brekkie. When we came last time, we loved this place called... It's like Verso Lounge or something. Right on the harbour front. Yeah, it's really nice. And they let dogs, like they let them just sit on the sofa with you and we're gonna have some brekkie and a nice iced coffee and then we've picked a walk off all trails which is like a coastal path walk and we're gonna do that and there's a pub on the way and we're gonna grab lunch i'm excited woke up with a bit of a headache but that's okay how did you find your sleep oh it's 
much like the whole the way bed through. Was, I didn't see it the whole way through, but the bed was comfy. The dogs were a little bit, like, they were good considering it was their first night because sometimes yeah, Rory's a little bit unsettled. But it was more the case of, um, like, I was in an unfamiliar place, like, and I'm just aware I'm a bit like a dog in that sense. Um, <laughs> and what? I am, aren't I? Mm, yeah, you have your own ones. But yes, so yes, now from the shop we got the new Blue Lucas. We haven't tried it, so we'll try it on the way to the walk with you. And I'm really excited. I'm hoping it stays semi cold for us um, while we're at St Ives because I've been dying to try it and I haven't been able to get it anywhere. But luck was in our favour at St Ives, yeah, baby. So yes, let's go and get some breakfast and come on, day one, explore. <laughs> sweating I've got on this another version set I'll show you I don't want to get this dirty so put it in the boot there's some more room in the boot there though if I didn't see one I'll show you the set this is a 16 week bump up deck And then I'm just going to put on my P.O.T. bomber on the top. Inside out. And this is the fit and then I'm going to put my wellies on when we get to the walk. We've started our walk and we're starting it at Port Cherno Beach. And we've got the Lucas out, so are you ready? Cheers. Good. Oh, I like that. Mm. Mm. It, I, it's less power-rated than a fort, but in a good way. Mm. It's more like berry than... Mm. Do you think? Yeah, it's lovely. I'm excited to try the um, fizzy one too. Are you yeah, I in there? Like yeah, they've, they've bought a fizzy one out too. Right. This is the Blue Force. This is nice. It's just started raining. Are we going up here? Yeah. We're going to start our walkie. Okay guys, so over there is actually the Minnick Theatre and you're meant to be able to see it, but it is so foggy today, it's crazy. Like, it didn't seem so foggy at St Ives, but up here, but it's really, really warm, it's not cold at all. So yeah, the views are obstructed. <laughs> They're foggy views. But, yeah, it'd be stunning if it was a clear day. But we can't see much at the moment, unfortunately. Nicer than actually what it looks here, doesn't it? It looks all right, doesn't it? Okay guys, I haven't forgotten you, but you literally can't really see anything on this walk. Dan's got a fluff on his head from the <laughs> from his new hoodie, so ignore that. But, yeah, I haven't forgotten about you, but the views, they would have been a lot nicer if it was sunny or clear. But we haven't been able to see anything and it's also spitting. So, yes, which is a bit of a shame. I feel like it looks nicer on camera than it does. But we've got absolutely, look at my forehead, I'm a sweaty, rained on mess. And it's really hot, like for no reason, isn't it? Like we're boiling. Um, so, yes, that's the update. Hello. Hello, girly pops. So, we've risen from the dead. We got in and honestly didn't feel brilliant. We both feel really just like tired. I've got quite a bad head. And yeah, we're just not, we're not feeling 100%. Um, we're not sure what, if we've got something coming down with, 
you know what I meant that in English. Um, <laughs> but we're not 100% sure, but we don't feel 100%. So we've just chilled for an hour and didn't sleep. We just, uh, we got back at like half two, three? Mm, yeah? Half two. About half past two. The walk, honestly, so I would recommend it because on a sunny day it would be nice, oh, but it was. Unreal. It was really boggy, and like, if you go back and watch my first ever Cornwall vlog, we went to Minnick Theatre. Yeah. And what's under it again? Uh, Port Cherno Beach. No, it's it's where like the old Telegraph um, Museum is. There's a Telegraph Museum there. So. Right. So wherever that is, we it, like it is stunning. Like it was bright blue. Yes, like it was like Greece, wasn't it? It's it was amazing. Job. Whereas today was so overcast, like it is raining and it sports it a little bit and I don't think we both felt 100% and it just like, I don't know, the mood, you know, and the mood just isn't quite there, which is a shame, but it's okay, it is what it is. And um, yeah, we yeah. felt a bit better, sorry, carry on. No, I was just going to say the energy this morning just felt a little bit better. off. Yeah, we both didn't feel like right as rain did we this morning. No. Um, but that's okay you feel how you feel and luckily we both felt it together which i think makes it better mm -hmm. because like if one's really happy and one's a bit like oh it makes the one feel sad yeah so but yeah so we have just chilled for a couple of hours i did a bit of work dan did a bit of work and now we are going to carbis bay to give the dogs another one little last run and just ourselves a little like last walk and we're also gonna go and get some food. We think we're gonna get it from the hub in St. Ives. We ate there. Oh, we've eaten there a couple of times now. Yeah, we have. Um, not the. F we did we eat there last time? Uh, we did defo did last time, but I don't know if we did the first time. But I think we went there a couple of times last time. Right. Okay. Will you go and grab it for me? Yeah. I just want a bottle of vinegar. Vine vine vinegar, because I'm a vinegar girly through and through, and. Like sometimes, like especially if we're we taken away, pardon. That's all we need, isn't it? You yeah. wait there, bro. Good boy. Sorry, guys. When I look up or like when I like move a sudden thing with my eye, I've got like a really bad pain like behind my eye socket. Sock, socket is really sore. Um, and I just felt so tired when we were walking. I just didn't feel good. Um, so yeah, but. We are going to eat from the Hub in St Ives and they do some really yummy stuff. I'm actually stuck what to get and that doesn't happen often because I'm a fussy eater through and through. But I will show you what we get obviously and I'll take you to Carbis Bay. It's raining and I don't want to sacrifice you but I'll show you the weather. It's just miserable which is a shame but like when we were um, up there you couldn't see a thing and it got so foggy you literally could not see anything. Um, I took my makeup, I had a shower when I got in and I felt better. I just felt cleaner like because I'd sweated the whole makeup off. Um but yes, so let's go to Cobbys Bay. Let's have one last bit of fresh air. I've just got this PRT tracksuit and this PRT trench coat. But see you in a bit. but I can't see any. I don't know if they just don't do them. And I'm gonna get a towel and I've just been for a week. What do cranberries look like? Are they like grapes? I have no idea. Oh, cranberries, haha. <laughs> Let's 
let's carry on. We're back and we got our food. We ordered from the hub box. Let me unbox it away. It's all really hot, which is nice. So Dan got a burger. He got a chicken burger. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah. I'm jealous. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, I want you burger. <laughs> that looks so nice. It looks sexy. We then got, Dan got some halloumi fries. And then we got some waffle fries. Oh, smells so good. What are you laughing about? Waffle fries. Look how good your burger looks. Looks insane. <laughs> and someone subtweeted it saying, uh, "Very genu very genuinely love that we have to uh, fight hard to keep these guys alive because they don't really seem to have a single survival instinct." What's he doing? He's just, he's just, just hanging on the tree. What the, the panda? Yeah. Oh. Just don't forget your burger. Excited? Yeah. Looks insane. I'm not chicken I'm gonna put the rest of it for you. Thank you. We'll give you a taste test, guys. We just stopped at the shop and got some um, condiments. Too nice. <laughs> I got a hot dog also. I'm just gonna put some extra ketchup on. But I'll show you. I'm just gonna have. Oh yeah, our cokes. Good thinking. Um, we did pay for a pickle pot, but they didn't come to them for me a pot of pickles <laughs> to make up for it. Because we, we ordered it and it said to come tomorrow, tomorrow and we morning. were like, we don't want that. He, he was like, I'm so sorry about that. Confused. No problem. Mm, lovely. Nice little kind of coat. Mm. Let's try the hot dog hey? I do fat for her. Mm. Yummy. Mm. <laughs> Yum. That's real good. Good. <laughs> ten ten guys. So you're right, right. Mm. That's all over me. Good morning, Houston. We are on the way to breakfast. Let me just move you. There we go. It seems sunnier today, it but cloudy so too. <laughs> so who knows what kind of day we're in for, hey? Um, we just chilled last night after we had food we watched we found something on netflix called fat friends and we really enjoyed it um it was like very nostalgic and it had like okay it had nessa smithy and pamin from gavin stace so that was really really good um did you enjoy it yes. and we've well, we're a bit obsessed with the beautiful south at the moment their, their songs and uh, and the theme tune is um what's that one um, the one with Bat being perfect 10. She's a perfect 10. But she wears a 12. <laughs> Baby, little, tip a little two for me. <laughs> we love our lives. That one. Different it's class. sizes. That one. We really like the beautiful South at the moment. So, yeah. We're literally listening to it on, on Monday, the way. On yeah. Because I've always liked a little time, but like, um, like, we've never really communicated over it. And Dan was like, Do you like this? And I was like, Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so we're gonna go and get brekkie. We're not sure where we're gonna go. Whether we're gonna say a place, a different place. We're not sure. Um, but we're just driving into St Ives again and gonna get some breakfast. And then today we're gonna do the Kynance Cove and Lizard Point. And if the weather stays a bit sunny, Kynance Cove is honestly the most breathtaking place I've ever been. So like, it just makes me in my heart. That and Perrinpoor Perrin Beach was also stunning. The one with that little pool. Yeah, that was mad. That was. Perrinpoor is stunning too. And then obviously Carpus Bay is like. Yeah, we love Carpus. Bay. It's our little thing. 
Um, and in the sun or at the sunset, it is a breathtaking little beach. Yeah, and then when you see, it, see a seal pop up. Yeah, the, we always see a seal. We didn't see one last night, but most times we go, we see a seal, don't we? Yeah. I don't know if it's because the weather was so shit yesterday. Yeah, but it was a really like calm sea, wasn't it? It was, it was which is so weird. I don't understand on the sea. And... It's got these waves, but yeah. It's but today weird. I'll show you the weather. We're looking, we're looking good. So this is, we're not looking, we're looking cloudy, but the sun is poking yeah, through. It's coming out, so yeah. we're grateful for that. So I will let you know what we get for Bricky. Okay guys, we're at the Scoff Trough Cafe and I've double parked myself with an apple juice and an iced vanilla and Dan got the same and we've ordered some food so I'll show you when it comes. Start our walk down, just gave us a dirty look. How rude. What look was it then? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hello, let me just balance you. I don't want you to fall. That would not be on my agenda. One sec. Uh, how did I do that the other day? Ah, hang on guys. Ah. I don't know how to do it. Rolo, do you want a drink? We're on the way to Connets Cove. We've been driving for a bit. Hang on, it's locked. Hang on, is it not coming out? Hang on, babes. You are right. That needs to be coming out very quick, darling. Hang go. Okay, go, sweetheart. Is there anything cuter than a dog drinking? I don't think so. I'm not here, little angel. Not anymore. I don't know. Mm. Gorgeous boy, ain't ya? Got anything to drink, Rose? Not anymore? Not anymore? Yeah, okay. But yeah, Dan's just gone in to get some more water. Rose, do you want some, darling? Um, Dan's gone in to get some more water, and then we will be on our way. Come here. He was drinking. Rory, yeah. You were drinking. See, I told you guys, so I was like, don't disturb him. What the hell? He was thirsty. He likes drinking like at home out of his bowl. He doesn't he only drinks it when nice? necessary. Is that nice? We're gonna get out in a bit. We're we're not, we're not far now, babies. But yeah, I'll let you know when we're there to check in. The weather's like up and down. It looks a little bit um nicer here. Like to the side of us. <laughs> so hopefully the clothes will break and we will be happy days, hey? Yeah. Oh, you got some chewing gums. What did you get? Oh, good choice. They're my, one of my favourites. Oh, no. Love cherry airwaves. Oh, no, and just the, the standard extra. Chewing gum haul. They're the best, but they just lose flavour quick. They do. But they're stunning, aren't they? They're good, though. Yeah, they are. The, the, black, the black front are the best. Black front are. They didn't have but they're, not, they're a bit more prestige. Yeah, they didn't have those ones. 
They always remind me of Stu Jody's dad because they were his favourite. What, the red ones? The purple. Oh, purple. And they're my favourite too. We've got the boys. We've got our main boy here. And look at the view behind him. Stunning. I've got the best view, really. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Goodest boy and gorgeous view. Well, he's there. Put his head on, ready. He wants the scone. I felt like I was getting judged when I said, Can I have a scone? No scone. No scone. You can only have the villa. Not chocolate, okay? So when daddy gets to the vanilla, you can have vanilla, okay? But not chocolate. It's so cold, isn't it? But yeah, it's so nice. Isn't it? You're with fun, babe. Gorgeous boy, mommy. Okay guys, so we've left Kynance Cove and we're on our walk to Lizard Point and it makes such a difference the weather doesn't it? It's so beautiful today, like it's so much blue, we can see down to the floor and it's like just makes it so much more enjoyable um, and I'm glad the bad weather was yesterday because we know how pretty like those views could be whereas like we've never done this walk so to see it nice like I'm glad, if that makes sense. Well, we've been here before both times. We've just, we've never, we've been to both places, but we've never done the walk, the walk like the coastal walk to it. We've um, but we had, we had our little clotted cream scone, which was nice. And let us know whether you do cream or jam first. We tried both. We're and open to options. And which way round is the 
Well, so with, with the jam and then cream on top is nice, but it's more creamy. And we found <laughs> the other way around, so the jam on top, no bottom, was more like sweet. So depends what you like, really. I don't think there's a right or wrong. Um, but let us know what. Say that to a Cornish yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's just you know where middle ground, Midlanders. We don't care. Um, so yeah, but let us know what you like to do. And my arms aching to be honest. So I'll let you know when we reach Lisa Point and our check-in because we're gonna eat at somewhere called like I think it's called like Wave Crest. Yeah. It's a really pretty place. So I'll let you know when we're there. Okay, we found a little beach and this is. Penreef Beach and it's on our walk from Kynance to Lizard and it's like a little secret beach but the steps if you can see the whole way down so if anyone's doing this then oh look they're running so pretty guys look at the horses look he's all the way down there it looks like they're just going to fall off it's crazy they're little as well how aren't they in the water? It's mental. That's crazy. It's gone, it's gone right down. Oh my. Oh no, I know it's so sick. Hello. We have come to Wave Crest and it is beautiful. It's so sunny and it just feels incredible. We came, we've come here every time we've come to Cornwall um, and it's just beautiful. Are you ready for the view? Hang on look at what we're looking at it's literally fucking gorgeous obviously we did have our little um scone and ice cream so we're just gonna have a bowl of chips each you know it'd be rude not to and we've got a bottle of water and dan got a corona actually crazy boy um dad's gone mental on holiday <laughs> um but the doggies are tired Ra's here and Rose sitting with dan and we're just waiting for our chippies we'll hear the opposite excited Come here. Yeah, no, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. You're right. you're right. I've got a little stick. Oh my god, I did not want to sound like a creep, but I literally watch your TikToks every day. No way! I do, do yeah, you? literally. I watch them all the time. Like, my boyfriend's like, what are you watching? Because he doesn't get TikTok. Right. He, does, he doesn't, he have, doesn't it have TikTok, all. to be fair. I have to no. show him. He hates it. I was like, to my mum, I was like, oh my god, is it? I was like, do I see it? Don't I say it? Oh, I don't know, like, don't freak. Oh, that is so good. I, I literally watch it all the time. Like, before bed, I, like, love all your hauls and everything. Oh, like, all your style. You. Like, oh, I love it. But we don't have it down here. Like, we don't have any of the shops. That's anything. the thing, isn't it? Is it rubbish? Yeah. It is so rubbish. Look, can like, you still get, like, PLP and stuff next day? Like yeah, that. you can do It's not next day, though. It's, like, really? two days. Really? Yeah, that is awful. Cool. Because, like, Primark. Yeah. We've got, we went once a month. Where was it? True, was it true, right? True, right. Oh, my God. And it's not that good, is it? terrible. And then I see all your stuff and I'm like, I want that, but they're just don't This is the it. only downside of looking here because it's so yeah, beautiful. It is but beautiful, Shopping yeah. is just such an addiction. Yeah. <laughs> and you're staying in St. Ives, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. love it there? I love it, it's beautiful. It Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Did a little doggy roll. Hey. Oh boy. How cute was that, Gobbies? Are we, are we sure they've got a name? Check your um, DMs. But she was so lovely. If you come to um, Wivecrest, if you're in Cornwall, they're very, very nice. And well, it's always been nice here, hasn't it? To be fair, it's yeah. always been beautiful. And it's just the most stunning oh, view oh, ever. Oh, gorgeous. Bring it over. Right, I'll have another one. You can have that one. How many have you had? I've had one currently. This is my second. No, I might not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you were a fucking joke. That's what I, I love vinegar. Good in you, Rory. <laughs> Maybe you yeah, Do you want this one? Do you want one more? Have it. You sure? Have it. Right. It's fine. You don't mind. We love our dogs. Yeah. Lisa, the shade of the dog. Hello guys, <laughs> I uh, just thought I'd check in and show you, we've had some dinner, look at this wet rat, um, we, Dan's made us some dinner, so we're having some um, crispy potato salad with some ham and Dan's got some chicken with his, so we're going to munch on that, but that is a good night from me and see you on a first day. Pew. Yeah, too bad.
drop it tonight. Ready? Uh, at the moment, I know we've got a thing. Spot, spot on, mate. Thank you for that. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. It's nearly our last day, which is a shame. It's our last full day. Um, and today we just want to go and explore some beaches, we think. We are going to go, I got recommended somewhere in Hale, Birdie's Bistro. So I think we're going to, well, I think we are. <laughs> we're getting there for breakfast. I'm <coughs> sorry. You're right. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to, what, Pan Sands? No. Pra Sands. Pra Sands. And then there's a, another one near it, which is a little. Oh, Port Leven. That's it. Then we're going, yes, we're going to do that. We're just going to go to some beaches today is the plan. Um, go to some beaches and just, yeah, have a little explore, little places like that not too far from us. We're not here yet, we're all. Um, and yeah, and then that is the final final plan, which makes me, I can't believe how quick this week has gone, to be honest with you. Oh, no. It's gone absolutely crazy fast, but it always does when you're away or having fun. That is just the way it goes. So yes, so it feels a bit cloudy, but could brighten up. And it's 11 degrees, it's, so it's been a bit warmer down here, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, Birdie's yeah. Bistro. Yesterday felt well, it was warm, wasn't it? It has, yeah, like when we've been walking, we've been hot, if anything. Like we've been stripping down to a t shirt, which is like yeah. unheard of. And we both think we've caught a little bit of the sun yesterday as well, which is yeah, absolutely Yeah, warm. we both definitely had a lot of freckles yesterday for sure. Mm. Um, which is funny. So, yes, it just shows it doesn't need to be that warm, hey, to catch a little bit of sun. Just got to cool. Just got to cool. Birdie's Bistro, here we are guys, we're nearly here, and it's in hail by the way, I don't know if I said that, so I'll let you know what we're going to get for Brecco, oh yeah here it is, I'm going to take you around, can you see, Birdie's Bistro, open all year round, it's a waterside garden which I'm excited about, ooh it's busy, hope we can get a space. give you a review to be honest I, I my, like the meal was nice like my breakfast was okay but like, I wasn't obsessed and it was quite expensive it came to like 40 just under 47 pound for breakfast which I think is quite expensive in my opinion um Dan had um avocado and eggs on toast mm -hmm. and added some salmon but then did you see how much the salmon was to add? Mm -hmm. Six pounds, wasn't it? Four quid. Four. Yeah. And then, and then we had a coffee and a juice. And I and I had um, pancakes, waffles. But I don't know. I just didn't really like the vibe in there that much. I don't know. I didn't love it. But no, I don't know why. I just I don't know. But I just thought it was quite expensive. Like. It, the, the food was lovely, it was just, it was very expensive. Um, for, like four quid to add a little bit of salmon. Mm. When you can buy a whole pack of salmon for that. Yeah. I don't know, it just seemed a bit expensive. Like, I, don't not go there, but like, and like the tide was out, so it wasn't very pretty. Like, we didn't get a seat by the window. I don't know, I feel like if you timed it right, and like, or even when at night or when the tide was in, it'd be more pretty. But I don't know, it was alright. Um, I wouldn't say like it was at like any better quality than food we've already had, though. In St. Ives. Yeah, I, to be honest with you, like we said yesterday, to have a restaurant around here, you can't be shit, can you? You can't be terrible, no. Um, oh, they have CrossFit here. That's cool. But yes, so we're going to go on our way. Where are we going first? We are on our way to Prasad. I'm hoping it brightens up a bit. It looks ever so sad again. Um, 
we've not had the best weather this year. I mean, yesterday was nice. Yeah, every other time we've been, though, well, top twice, but like both last times we've been, there has been like beautiful weather and it was earlier on in the year, which is mad. Yeah. Because you'd think it'd be like more miserable. Like, we thought, like, you know, it's pretty much spring. You know, surely it'll be getting a bit nicer, but it seems to just be quite sad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go, like we said, so we'll let you know when we're at the beach. <laughs> first act when it feels to march and we are we've just pulled up to poor mia beach i think it's mia <laughs> i don't really know but the sea is hang on oh my god the sea is very pretty it's a gorgeous blue someone's swimming out there it's a gorgeous turquoise blue now i'm just getting some parking and we're gonna have another little mooch for weeks and it's driving me away look at him Where's my dad? I just want to get out. Why do I have to wait for people? I'm screaming, crying. Right. So yeah. Um, mm -hmm. that's where we are. Where caught Mia? Mia. Yeah. I never saw a mini with cream interior. Hey. I never really saw a mini with cream interior. Rolo, please don't scratch the car. You have to pay for that. Um. Right there, right. TTYL. It's just like the it moving to I don't know what it's tracking. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Um we have just chilled. We got back at like what time do you reckon we got back? About three. About three o'clock. Um and it's now half five. We've just I've read for literally a couple of hours. Dan's been on Twitter and I'm trying to on two. <laughs> um so that's all we've been doing. We had an orange, Dan had a coffee. And we just chilled because we were quite tired. Um, and now we've come back out and we're going to go to Carbis Bay for one last time and get some dinner in a bit. Um, so that's the plan, really. I the, It's really brightened up this evening. Look at the weather. It's a beautiful evening. It looks so much nicer, which is gorgy porgy. So that's our little update. Today, the beaches, I'd say Port Mia. Yeah. Was much nicer than um, Pra. Pra Sands. Would you? Yeah, but I feel like we made the best 
Yeah, uh, it, and like it's because again the weather was wasn't amazing, but Pra Sands was a nice walk. It was, uh, yeah, we did about. 5,000, 4,000 steps. It's a really, really there. long beach, and there's, it is. It's quite cool. There's if Kate, in, yeah. If, if you're into a bit of uh, hit, like war history as well, there's a pillbox at one end of the beach. So I've learned what they cool. are this holiday. <laughs> so that, that's quite cool if you're into that. But yeah, so um, it was, it was good, and then there was like caves at the end, which was nice. Um, so it was nice, but I also really like. Should we get some water now? And then we can just get a cold one to drink. Yeah. I'm a bit thirsty, babes. Yeah, I'm thirsty. See if they've got the fizzy blue Lucas Aid in there. Was it in the on the go, babe? Uh, well, it was near it. It wasn't in the fridge. Right. It was like on that in that aisle that was a Lucas Aid stand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so much sunny in there, which is nice. So I will sort out the moving, guys. Sorry, I'm not sure how to turn it off or sort it. But, um... I yes, that's our plan, and I can't believe it's our last night. We're not getting out yet, boys. Oh, sorry, I should have left that on. There you go. Hang on a minute. Wait, so yeah, I'm excited. I feel like my face looks like it's got a bit of colour. I've got like patches, to be honest with you. I didn't put makeup on. I literally put on um, Bondi Sa not Bondi Sands, Drink Elephant Drops, and I mixed a little bit of the L'Oreal Glotion, and then I also put on. Um, the Primark blush drops just to give me a bit of colour here um, but I've got so many freckles from yesterday um, but yeah let's go and have a little beach walk I'm tired <sighs> I have, yeah. Nah, thank you very much for the lovely. That's so good, thank you. So I look so much nicer this evening. It's so gorgeous. pretty. Yeah. It looks gorgeous tonight, guys. The light, you want to see it? Absolutely, I'll show you. One last pan. Here we go. Gorgy borgy. This is what we're all looking at. I'll give you a 360. Looks stunning. Hopefully you stay. Sorry, my um, it's ten o'clock. We're on the way back. We've just stopped at Cornwall Services and got on got a McDonald's and Dan just got him. I got a little bit of hash brown for you. Um, I've never had the sausage McMuffin, so I got one to try. I also got some carrots for me and the dogs. I'm, I don't think I've ever had a sausage McMuffin. I don't know, but I took the egg off because I don't like. I don't really like egg as it is. Um, I just can't imagine I'd like it. So I got a couple of hash brown and then a sausage McMuffin. And try a bit of sausage roll. Um, so let's try it. I might take one patty off and share it with the doggies. I didn't realise it come with two. I'm just putting some ketchup on. 
because it doesn't come. I think you have to add, I don't really know. Um, but we're on the way back, and on the way back, George, Georgie, said um, we should try, well, she really wanted to try Trink vending machine, and it's basically like one of those vending machines that you um, can like get milk from, and it's down here, and I'll show you. And we got some milk, like just some normal organic milk, and then we also got some, I'm just trying to, Okay. And then we also got some, um, well, we picked the white chocolate milk and do you know what it was? It was really nice, but we got it in a cup, so it's finished. Um, wasn't um my seatbelt's gone off funny it's not going tight and it's stuck on something which i'm a bit concerned about i can't imagine that's the same if it's, it's stuck on something i might have to get down to help me <laughs> oh wait oh it's fine <laughs> that was really quite simple um what i was talking about so yeah we got that got the milk um and then we're on our way back we'll get back about two just after it's ten I feel so long going home. I've got some work to do. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but I thought I would do my um, eat fat. Oh, you're over there. Hold on. I'm really struggling to balance this, but yeah, we're on the way. TTY up, love you. Okay, guys, I thought we could come and round off our trip and we could round off like where we stayed and stuff. So we stayed, it was called number four, the studio consoles yeah. in St. Ives Cornwall, right? Yeah. It was under £400, which I thought was so good. We stayed Monday to Friday. Um, and what did you think of the place? The accommodation. Yeah. I thought it was uh, perfect, really. Me too. It was. Uh, it, they don't allow infants and babies, so we will. Like, we won't be able to return, unfortunately, unless we came back this year. You know. So. Oh. Wow. I've just done. Hang on, guys. I've done something. I've like. Hang on. Sorry, I'm still working out this camera, as we know. Um, I It was spatial enough for us and the two dogs. It was a really comfy bed. Uh, it was clean. It had shower. It was hot with the heater on. It was hot. It was really open plan, didn't feel claustrophobic or anything. And like, there was no, there was like, just like, it was on like a courtyard, but it was really like. It was private, wasn't it? it was really hidden away. Yeah, you wouldn't know it was there. So it was good for the dogs. Like, they just ran around the car park and had a wee, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, literally. Because there was like a little grass patch. Um, but then towards the end, they just started weeing outside of the. Yeah, literally just went out the doors. Yeah, but it was really nice. It was, I really recommend it if you are coming as a two or. It's an absolute um, bargain if you're going out and like not using it as like a. And you well, you couldn't really, could you? Because it was too small. But if you were like walking a lot, going to different places. Like us. It's just a good, good little base. And we would come back every evening and chill, and we were more than comfortable. Like yeah. there was a sofa and like a TV, but like not one you'd probably want to chill for hours on the yeah, sofa. Like yeah. it, we were just happy in bed, just yeah. watching on the laptop, weren't we? Yeah. Um. But and they let you know they had tea and coffee and stuff there. Yeah, um, the fridge, a freezer. Well, which was nice. And it was very close to St Ives. How long would it, did it take us to drive? Like five minutes. Five minute drive. Five minute to drive St Ives, and it was a one mile walk. Yeah. But down a hill. Yeah, it says you could walk it, walk down there in about fifteen minutes on the. the but we were always stuff. going out after, so we didn't. Um, and then what else? 
uh, well let's give you some recommendations then of what we did we'll round up the week so we um I've been to St Ives many times. Like I feel like it's a good base for breakfast. It's pretty. Yeah, it's got everything you need. And to be honest with you, every time we've been, pretty much everything's been open. Yeah, even then when we've been in like January, we went in January and February, and everything was open. Um, it probably wasn't as busy, but yeah, even like some of the ice cream like parlors were open. We're open, yeah. This time we've year, never so. been stuck for options, no, food wise. That's have why we? I think St Ives is quite good because it has literally got like, everything you need. Really. It's like a decent sized town, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you can also like if you didn't want to leave, you could probably stay there and walk sorry walk around the harbours. There's a few beaches near St Ives. Yeah, you could walk. Where we went yesterday, Port Mia was in St Ives, and it also I think there was like Port Minster. There's like three beaches near St Ives. Um, so on Tuesday we did. We went to. Was that to, the shit walk? It was yeah. It was shit because of the weather. And that was. Um, what, what was that? That was by the Minic Theatre. We started at Port Cherno Beach yeah. and, and it was did, a circular route. Yeah, you went up to a place called Treen, which there's a pub at Treen, and then you walk basically back. Um, so we did that. Um, and it was nice, but it was really muddy and the views weren't brilliant. And it kind of ruined it for us. And we like we didn't feel 100% either, which I don't think helped. But we used all trails for a couple of walks. Um, Dan uses all trails, like we use it for when we go to the peaks and stuff. So that, if you, obviously you'd be able to find walks. Like the first, previous two times, we just kind of asked for recommendations and also looked just on TikTok. Yeah. I looked on TikTok for a lot of the things. So that's what we did on the Tuesday, Wednesday. Kynance Cove and Lizard Point Circular, yeah. loved beautiful scenery, gorgeous coastal walk lovely people, we love Kynance Cove anyway, we love Lizard Point, we love Wave, Wave Crest where we went so that was a real recommendation yesterday we went to the Pra Sands, was okay it was a decent sized beach yeah, but it was a nice walk wasn't it um, and then we went to the Port Mia beach and went to Carbis Bay. I highly recommend Carbis Bay if you can go. It's beautiful of an evening. You always see seals. And we've also been there for breakfast. We've been there at all times of day, I think, haven't we? Yeah, yesterday was probably the longest time we spent there. We just sat there for eight, about, an, about an hour and a half and it was so nice. We were like the only ones on the beach for a good 40 minutes. Yeah, we were. It's just... It's, it's like you yeah. don't know why. It's amazing. And like looking at the houses like in the hills and stuff like that. It, just it gives, really reminds me of like Malibu Pier yeah, or like, I don't know. It gives that vibe because the colour of the the sun coming down on the hills and it just yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's beautiful unreal. there's unreal. such nice houses right there and it's like crystal blue water you see seals they just pop up yeah and when we were there last time we didn't see but someone saw a dolphin didn't they do you remember yeah we and didn't see him last time i was there i saw the fin of a whale didn't i yes you did so it's sick it's, didn't i didn't i yeah. me i didn't know you didn't see him, no i didn't <laughs> and rory loves loves carby's bay yeah, he, he feels at home there um, okay, but other recommendations we didn't do this time, but we've done, we really like, there's a waterfall, got no idea what it's called, but if you type in like waterfalls in Cornwall, it'll come up. So we went there and we paid to go, and it's a beautiful big waterfall, it's like a walk, but what is really beautiful if you're, we were about an hour and 15 away, but we went anyway, it's called Gallifa Falls. Beautiful, it's like, you walk alongside just constant flowing water over rocks essentially yeah, right and it, you can literally get in there it's like it, but one it's second <gasps> sorry it's big it's not like a no, little street we walked it's for a, like hours didn't we it's a massive river yeah it's, it's huge it's really really nice um other recommendations i'm trying to think we did land's end and land's end's beautiful in the sun but in the when it's shit weather it doesn't look half as pretty but it's a decent size walk and then there's this, uh, is it Sion? Senen Cove. Senen Cove, which is next to Land's End. Yeah. We did that this last year when we went there. Oh, uh, it's the Minic Theatre, you can do that. We the did Minic the Minic Theatre on what together? Um, I think Land's End, because it's all on the same sort of Did stretch, we? Yeah. Um, you, if you go back and watch my two Cornwall vlogs, you'll see what we did, but I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. But for food, we went to the Trefo Lounge. We went there. 
previously too and it's just it's also a chain so like you've probably got one near your area like we've got one in Stafford called Verso Lounge there's one in Foss Park called yeah, there's one in Cardiff as well I think exactly. yeah there's like there's quite a lot of them and it's just like tapasy lunch like there's like hummus and they do meals but also breakfast is, it was nice and the bacon was really good Junk, so like you do iced coffee they did matcha so that's a good all rounder and then and it's right on the harbour front as well yeah it's a very pretty view isn't it and then we went to Scofftroff Cafe which we've been to before nice didn't love Birdie's Bistro and that's more near oh and Hale's nice if you want to um, go over a weekend if you go to Hale they have this thing called Iced on the Quay which is like on the way out of Hale or like on the way depending if you go to the beach first there's a, it's like a van and they do like amazing waffles and like smoothies and like more stuff like that like ice cream but it's only open of the weekends and Hale's a nice beach and there was this other one called Griffin Beach which is part of Hale but it's like a massive three mile beach Hale is and it's like one of the ends so that was meant to be nice um, so yeah we love Cornwall and it's just mad that next time we'll go we'll have a baby